Hey guys, so I have an exciting personal project that I want to share with you. And if you tune into our other sister channel, Flock Finger Lakes, then you probably have a little bit of an insight of what I'm about to share with you. But you'll see this home right here. It's a kind of a large size tiny home. We're calling it the Meadow House, but this is on our land at Flock Finger Lakes. And what's exciting about it is we get to start from scratch. And why I'm taking you here today and why this is not on Flock is because we're gonna talk about house plants. We're starting from scratch in this house and we could try to bring in some house plants once we start renovating it more. You'll see that it's kind of barren on the inside. We don't have any furniture, we don't have any floors yet. But uh, for those of you who have some spatial imagination, <laughs> I'll show you where some of the furniture is gonna go and maybe where we're going to have some of the plants. So without further ado, let me walk you into the house. Oh, how did the camera person get oh, in the house? Oh, how did that work out? We must have two camera people. <laughs> Can't down. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the Meadow House. Like I said, it's pretty barren. And let me just step back. This is a house that was actually an old nursery office, so it wasn't really a house to begin with. And it was a seasonal nursery office at that, so you couldn't actually live in this because there was no heating during the winter. There was only AC because it was open during the warm months. So we kind of made a split decision and kind of decided that we would renovate this and turn this into a home, which we'll quite frankly probably all live in at some point. And then we'll open it up to families and friends. Maybe it'll eventually be a rental. So pretty much the only thing you could probably see in here besides myself is that we actually did clay walls, which is really cool. So you're getting kind of a first view even before Flock, you know, Fl the Flock channel. But um, if you wanna see more of the process of the clay walls, you could, you could tune into the Flock Finger Lakes channel because we actually did this in the chicken coop just to kind of try it out and see if we liked it because we didn't know whether it would feel too cave-like being on the ceiling and um, on the walls, but we absolutely love it. And I already see that we have some, a family of three spiders up here who are just kind of like chilling out. So <laughs> they've already moved in, um, but really like it. And obviously we go, went with a more neutral color palette and the colors that we're gonna be bringing in are like a sagey kind of green and a mossy kind of green color. So it'll just really work well with plants. Though I will have to say, because there's gonna be people who are transiently living in here, we don't wanna over, go overboard with the plants, whatever that means. But um, some of the ideas for plants, and maybe you guys have some ideas as well, I'll share a little bit of what you're about, or you're about to see here. So this room is actually going to be a bedroom. And blasphemy for all plant people, we ended up taking out two of the northern windows here because actually this is gonna be the bedroom and we wanted a little bit more privacy. And in the cold season, a lot of the cold air will be lost through the, the north side because that's where the wind, the northwest is where some of the cold winds come. But we did take out two windows and we'll have a bed, a queen size bed here, and on two sides, we're gonna have nightstands. So that does give us an opportunity on the nightstands to maybe have two beautiful little plants. And the windows, this is our west side, so you could see that we get a flood of western light during the ending part of the day, not during the, the morning. In the morning, it's a little dimmer in here. But we will have generous window sills. So these are not the end result of our window sills. Obviously, this is a work in progress but we have some reclaimed wood and we're probably gonna have like seven inch windowsills. Now, you know the thing with windowsills, if you keep plants on windowsills, you might get those like nasty stains and everything. So I do wanna treat that wood well. I mean, it is reclaimed wood. It's probably seen all sorts of elements, but has it ever seen wet house plants <laughs> on sitting on the sill or over watering? So I do wanna be mindful of that because you know, we're starting from scratch. We wanna make this place really nice. And I can imagine that we'll have maybe one or two house plants here. But I'm thinking plants, instead of hanging plants, maybe something that kind of pops up and that's still pretty diminutive. So if you guys have ideas, let me know. But I'm thinking, you know, maybe some peperomias, maybe we could bring in some succulents here. But I wouldn't, I wanna 
not have anything that hangs over only because you're not getting much light here. I mean, you will get some Eastern light coming from the bathroom, which I'll show you later, but uh, if something's hanging down, it might not get a lot of ambient light because obviously there's no window light coming in. So that's something to consider. What's the big reveal? <laughs> this, oh my goodness, it looks like a monster. It you looks like, release a new car. And, woof, no, um, this is the AC unit with some clay bits uh -huh. on it, <laughs> but we couldn't take it out officially because uh, we couldn't take it out officially because unfortunately uh, it has free end gas and you need somebody professional to take that out. But we needed to take it off the wall in order to do uh, clay on that. So work in progress, like I said. Now, this is like kind of an open format. So you have your bedroom over here. Now, what I think we'll do is maybe we'll have uh, one of those side tables, those long side tables. We, we don't have that. Um, picked out yet. We actually have a local gentleman who's making the, the furniture for us, which is really wonderful. So we, we haven't requested a side table, but we think that's a place where you could, you know, come in, you kick off your shoes, you put your keys, awesome opportunity to maybe have a plant on it, <laughs> some books. So I think that's one thing. And then over here is the living room. So again, you have some southern light that comes in. You have this Western light that comes in, and we chose not to have a total open format. We have um, a, just a kind of a, a nice window baked into the wall, and in the morning, this gets the most gorgeous Eastern light that comes through. And you know, Eastern light is so warm and gentle. It's like a warm hug. <laughs> I would definitely pick Eastern light over all lights, even though it might be transient. And this is an opportunity, obviously, to put a plant on. And I would like something big and leafy. But the challenge is, as you can see here, there's a pipe. And oh, there's a nice airflow through it. This is where a little wood stove is going to go, tiny wood stove. But you don't want to have your, any of your plants like right up against the wood stove. Maybe in the summer, it doesn't matter. But in the winter, if you're using a wood stove, you don't want to crisp up your plants. So that's something that you'd have to consider. Then we're probably gonna do like some type of L-shaped sectional couch here. So that kind of takes out that opportunity of having something large and leafy here. Then we'll probably have a, uh, you know, a one person seat chair and uh, maybe a lamp. So perhaps that's a place where we could have something large and leafy. But as you can see, I can almost touch the ceiling just by extending my arm. So this is only an eight foot tall ceiling. So we can't get something that's like too big, like a strelitzia, like a bird of paradise, or even like my big ficus. It might just get too big for its britches. So I have to think about something that could be large and leafy that would not outgrow the space um, quickly. So that's an opportunity for a plant. And then here, we'll have another one of those sills. But this is a place where you could interact and engage with you know, a person on the other side. So th this side is gonna be the kitchen. So you can imagine maybe somebody passes out the drink or passes out um, you know, a, a plate of food or something along those lines. So we, still, we don't wanna block this. Um, but maybe having a plant that does hang here because you actually do get quite a bit of light and maybe hangs on both sides is a possibility, um, probably here because they'll be seating here. And so I'm thinking more like a Syndapsis pictus jade, you know, those really dark evergreen colored plants. They're a little bit slower growers than the, just the regular species Syndapsis pictus, but I think that could look really beautiful and it has that really nice rich velvety green color. And I have one of those growing, in, I have a few of those growing in Brooklyn and I can maybe just bring one of those and perhaps like clip it back because it's a little already too long. But um, something like that could be actually really, really nice. And considering we're going with like the sagey, mossy colors, there's a plant that I have in Brooklyn that I absolutely love and maybe I could see it growing through here. It's called Zero Sessios Dingui. And I have one that is starting to form like a caudiciform and it's just all over the place and it has a beautiful, it's already in like a sagey colored planter pot. And I'm thinking somewhere in here that could really shine. 
Uh, and I, I think the exciting thing about this is like starting from zero and really hand selecting each planter, each pot. And since this is the meadow house and we're gonna go with like board and batten sidings and it's gonna be a little bit more homespun, I think working with like basketry for the, like as cash pose that you could put your plants in as opposed to like more modern like fiberglass or plastic things, we kind of stay away from that and go with something that's a bit more hand spun. Now this looks a little less impressive at this hour, but like I said, in the Eastern light, this kitchen is miraculous. That wind also feels really nice too. So what we're gonna have here is just how we had an L-shaped sectional there. We're gonna have an L-shaped sectional here of a, a banquette or like a breakfast nook. So it'll be kind of one of those places where you could lift up the seat and you can have storage because obviously in a tiny home you wanna have extra storage. We'll have a table here. We'll have a hanging pendant light over the table, a large kind of hanging pendant light. And you'll have, you know, your Southern window, you'll have your Eastern window, and you'll have some of that Western light coming in. So I can imagine maybe a potted plant on the table, but also maybe some cut flowers. Maybe we picked some lilacs if they're in season. I kind of, I feel like meadow house and lilacs, they kind of go together. Uh, and then here is gonna be the preparation station or the countertops. You'll have your sink right in the middle here with the pendant light hanging down. And then you'll have your stove and then you'll have your refrigerator, a pretty sizable refrigerator and some cabinetry, maybe some open work. So if you're not storing too much stuff, perhaps there's an opportunity to have tiny little plants in there. Maybe some tiny plants along here, maybe some peperomias I'm thinking, but nothing to block too much of the countertop space because there's just not a lot of countertop space. And then you have this area right here, which is going to have basically a kitchenette. And so that's gonna have where you can store your plates. It's a little coffee or tea station that you can have here, you know, drawers to kind of put your other plates and glasses in. And um, there could be maybe a possibility of having a little plant on there, but again, small amounts of countertop space, not sure if we wanna to totally take up with uh, a plant. So, but it's a shame if we don't bring some plants in this beautiful Eastern light. So I'd imagine, you know, this windowsill could be pretty full and maybe that windowsill would be pretty full, but again, with a plant kind of growing up and more pressed to the window, because if somebody's gonna be sitting here and moving back and forth or sliding back and forth, you don't want them getting hit. So there has to be a very specific plant for that particular space. What's also nice, and we're not gonna get into the outdoor landscaping, but even though this home is small, it has a deck out here and we're gonna probably place a deck out here. So it's gonna feel larger because that outdoor indoor move is going to feel a bit more seamless. So we're gonna work on the landscaping here and if you guys are interested in that, we'll do the landscaping videos at Flock Finger Lakes. But imagine having a big deck and a raised bed out here with perhaps like a rose growing up on the wall. Um, lots of ideas, but we just haven't gotten there yet. But I can imagine you might wanna open up this. We'll have a screen door. You could, you know, take your morning coffee out here and, uh, and feeling as if like your house plants are taking you outdoors and your outdoor plants are bringing you back in. So we like that kind of connection to the earth and the fact that the walls are clay. I mean, I wish I could just take you through the film and <laughs> you could smell the walls because it just has that kind of earthy smell and earthy goodness. So this used to be the place where you walk through the bathroom, but we kind of reclaimed this area as um, you know, a space for the kitchen and it made much more sense to actually approach the bathroom through the bedroom area because if you're you want to go to the bathroom at night, you want to go with the least possible hazards. Now, this is not fully done yet, obviously, but this is actually quite a sizable bathroom. The toilet is gonna be here. We left this window to the north here, which actually brings in nice light. And then in the shower, this was Sandra's call, 
Uh, having a nice small window here so you have natural light coming through the, the, the shower. Now this is not gonna be finished with clay, but kind of a sister to clay, it's gonna be this Tadillac, which is like this wet use lime-based product, which is not done yet. It's not even, we haven't even really started it, but it's, it feels so, again, earthy and has that neutral tone. And because this is such a large bathroom space, with some decent light. And I know a lot of folks who have bathrooms have no light in their bathroom. So we, we made a conscious effort to leave light coming through the bathrooms, especially because here you're gonna have your vanity. We didn't want a window coming and backlighting you, but you have some nice gentle side light coming in from this Northern window. And uh, you know, there's an opportunity here to actually have plants. And maybe we could even have something that's large and leafy again. Maybe it's some kind of palm, because as you come in, you wanna feel like you're, you have, you wanna spend time in the bathroom. That sounds strange, but like, we want it to feel like a spa. And we think with the Tadillac walls and the lime walls, you're gonna feel like you've walked into some kind of Moroccan cave and it'll feel really nice. And we were very conscious of rounded edges, so we wanted to bring the, the warmth in through the roundedness of the curves. And we have this shower niche here. And what I was actually thinking, and this is maybe something I'd run by you, Sonder, is I don't know how we could do it, but the idea of having a, a hanging plant right here coming down, I don't know if we could, how we, uh, you know, attach that but the showers here, you know, you're washing. <laughs> you're making out, you're washing in the shower. For a second, I thought you were gonna say, no shampoo, just plants. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, well, you know, <laughs> you is this gonna be, sill. this is gonna be a windowsill, but I was like, are shampoo bottles gonna be here or plants? But imagine, I, and then the only thing I thought about like with a plant here is maybe not something hanging because it has to again be oppressed to the window because the towel hangers are gonna be here. So if you take the towel off, I'd hate to rip the towel off and then hit the plant and have it fall. That would be the worst. So I think having you know something that's a bit tighter to the, the wall would be nice. But I was like, whoa, yeah, what that? that'd be so nice because you have the, the light coming in and there's plenty of hanging plants that could actually work. In fact, I have this beautiful philodendron callosum, which is this real strap-like leaves and very thick, it's callosum, so it's like calloused leaves, very dark green, kind of like the Syndapsis pictus jade plant. And I'm like, where, where could that go? Perhaps somewhere in here. Um, so anyway, think about that. I don't want to obviously puncture a hole in, in a waterproof wall, but something I'm kind of thinking of that makes it feel more jungly and that you feel like you're outside when you're taking a shower. I, that's like the best feeling. But yet you feel private, <laughs> in the privacy of your own home. Now this is gonna have another horizontal surface, which when I think horizontal surface, I think of plants. <laughs> this is gonna be the laundry. Um, so we're gonna have a full, even though small, full washer dryer here, and then a reclaimed top, and then some cabinets on the top, and some of them are going to be open. So that's also another opportunity to have some lower light thriving plants and um, I wouldn't cover the laundry table unless it's like in a corner because you are gonna be doing your laundry there. But that's also another opportunity. But, you know, we'll see when the furniture and the accoutrements get into the space because you never know. Like, plant people are the best at like fitting things into spaces that you never thought could actually fit a plant. <laughs> and I think like once we actually get everything in, you know, we're gonna see what actually feels right. And I do think like jungle vibes in here is kind of more of what I'm going for. It's a large space, it has decent light that comes through. And I think feeling relaxed when you come in home from like a hard day of work. I got my first callus the other day <laughs> from digging holes through the trees. But uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be just so delightful. There is gonna be a door here, by the way, that leads from the bathroom to the bedroom, but what we're thinking about is cutting a window through the bathroom and then having something that's a little bit more opaque 
or rippled so that you can't see in, but it still lets that Eastern light in because the bedroom, like I said, in the morning actually doesn't get that Eastern light unless you have that kind of door open or you have that kind of rippled glass. And again, the Eastern light is just gorgeous. And a lot of our house plants actually do well in that light. And I think some things that will transition out like planting uh, planters and like some urns and planters outside so it feels really welcoming is probably the way to go. But I hope you can imagine some of the uh, space that we have here. I think I forgot that this, there is an armoire on this wall. So I don't know how tall the armoire is, but possibility to have plants on there because you get some of that western light and some of that southern light coming in. So that's another possibility. But again, it would have to hang off to the side because you have armoire doors. So I know it's so easy for us to want to fill everything up, but I want something that's also functional because if the plant person is not staying in this house, then the plant person is not going to be so sensitive to, the non-plant person is not going to be as sensitive to, oh, I'm gonna close the plant in the door. So you gotta have those things in mind when it comes to the practicalities of living with or being with like non-plant people in the space. Anyway, I think that those are some of our ideas. Maybe we'll show you some sketches of how this is going to be for those of us who are spatially challenged. Um, but we will definitely, when this house starts to get more refined and finished, and we start bringing in the furniture, then we'll start to show you like the houseplant home makeover again for this. But in the meantime, if you have ideas or thoughts based on the color palette and the furniture and the layout of the space and the lighting, feel free to let me know in the comments below. It'll be great to hear from you. And I'll keep you posted on the progress of this. And of course, if you wanna see more of what we're doing in the landscape in the area, then you could tune in to our sister channel at Flock Finger Lakes. All right guys, see you later.